New tonight, a homecoming prank takes a hateful turn. A homeowner says that he caught teenagers vandalizing his son's car with racist and homophobic slurs. As WCCO's Marielle Mose reports, that prompted the Waterville Alasian Morristown District to pull the plug on homecoming weekend activities. On Monday night, surveillance video captured a group of young people outside a home in Alasian Township. Some of those teenagers throwing toilet paper in trees, typical homecoming mischief. But the vandalism to the car was anything but typical. When I went over to his car, that's when I saw all the racial uh, slurs, homophobic language. Most of those slurs and disgusting symbols, too graphic to show on TV. But you can see Chad Aladdin's son's car is covered with them. I find it very disgusting. Um, I told the officer that night uh, I would like it investigated as a hate crime because in my mind it is. His son transferred out of Waterville, Alasian Morristown this year. I know it was not random. There was a reason they came, and it was because I know he lives here. On Friday, the Waterville, Alasian Morristown superintendent sent out a letter addressing what he calls troubling activities taking place related to homecoming week. And he made the decision to cancel all remaining homecoming activities, including the dance scheduled for Saturday night. The superintendent says he will issue disciplinary action when possible, but Aladdin wants more than detentions and suspensions. I'm hopeful that they will charge them with um, something. I, I think there are going to be legal consequences, ideally, for these kids. And we've confirmed with the Lesur County Sheriff's Office that they are